Angela, thank you. Six more days. That's how long the U.S. has to solve the debt crisis. If Congress does not approve a debt ceiling increase, military men and women stand to lose big. News 4's Kim Quintero joins us now. And Kim, military paychecks and veterans benefits they stop altogether? Well, it's certainly a possibility. There's no doubt that without new borrowing, the U.S. Treasury will have an enormous shortfall in government obligations next month. But whether military pay and veterans benefits would still be covered is unclear. So many servicemen and women are waiting and worrying. From her home in Greenville, Lisa Franklin keeps a close eye on Washington's debt ceiling crisis. When people are suffering and unemployment is this high, this is not the time to play with people's money. It's that simple. Franklin once proudly served in the Air Force, but a bad fall ended her military career. She was medically discharged and now lives on monthly disability pension. After 10 years of honorable service, I earned that. So I expect the United States government to keep their promise to myself, veterans, and military people the same way we kept our promise when we swore an oath to protect the country. According to the Bipartisan Policy Center, the U.S. Treasury will have a shortfall of about $134 billion for August. Without new borrowing, military checks and veterans benefits averaging about $3 billion each for the month might not get covered if other items get higher priority. It's the second time this year military and veterans payouts have been threatened. Back in April, veterans were told that a partial government shutdown, which could still happen if a debt limit deal is not reached, would not stop disability or education benefits from being sent out or close any veterans' hospitals. But new benefits claims would be stopped, veterans' burials could be halted, and VA hotlines and regional offices would operate on a limited basis. Pentagon officials also said non essential essential defense civilian employees would be temporarily furloughed, while essential ones would work without pay. Gary Moore of Greenville is waiting for his son Daniel, a petty officer in the Navy, to deploy on his first ship. These guys are dodging bullets, and the last thing they need to worry about is paying their mortgage and their, and their rent and, and taking care of their families. Growing anxiety from a group whose sacrifices could turn into more than what they signed up for. And President Obama's deadline to raise the national debt limit is August 2nd. Carol?